this review is on the movie Bayou Caviar. I'm the Iron Guy. I'm going to tell you like it is. The film Bayou Caviar is Cuba Gooding Jr.'s directorial debut. The screenwriters are Cuba Gooding Jr. along with Iton Gorlin. The story is by Cuba Gooding Jr. along with Iton Gorlin. The cast in Bayou Caviar are Cuba Gooding Jr., Fomke Jensen, Richard Dreyfus, Laya Marie Johnson, Ken Lerner, Greg Bellow, and Sam Thiker. In the fifth film, Cuba Gooding Jr. is an ex-boxer champ that has fallen in hard times and doing odd jobs to get by. He is a driver for some Russian hood, a bouncer at a club, and Cuba also helps his friend named Nick, played by Fomke Jansen, who pretends she is an agent in the sex industry. The film starts with Yuri, played by Richard Dreyfus, meeting with his business agent, Shalom, played by Ken Lerner. Shalom wants out of the business because he says he wants to go back to his homeland to retire. So Shalom offers his son-in-law, Isaac, played by Greg Bellow, to take his place. Yuri says, okay, but really he is thinking he wants to get some dirt on Isaac, so he will not be able to assume the position. Meanwhile, Cuba is driving Ruffy, played by Sam Thicker, to see Yuri for a meeting. Long story short, Yuri shoots Ruffy in the head and hires Cuba to find a, or create dirt on Isaac, so Isaac's father-in-law will not leave Yuri's business. Hence, Cuba goes to his friend Nick so she can create a tape to destroy Isaiah. Nick told Cuba to find a girl and talk the young woman into doing a sex tape. Cuba befriends a young woman, Kate, played by Lia Marie Johnson, and convinces her by doing this one short film for promotion tape to get her acting career started. Kate agrees, so Nick creates a tape while hiding in a closet with Kate and Isaiah are together. Three items about this film, Bayou Caviar. First, what is Bayou Caviar? Bayou Caviar is chopped up human body parts fed to the creatures in the Louisiana Bayou. Second, show me the money. Don't you remember that? I loved that. But when I heard, show me you can be great in this film, I thought, I just rented a winning film. Number three, the most exciting part in the movie doesn't happen until one hour and 30 minute mark in a one hour and 51 minute film. I respect Cuba Gooding Jr. Every movie I've seen with Cuba starring or playing a character in, he has never disappointed me. This movie seemed complicated at the beginning because so many characters were introduced at the beginning of the film and you didn't know how they were all going to be tied into the story. If you stuck around long enough, you'd go to know everyone how they were involved in this film. I have to admit, this film was slow moving and tiresome. Like I always said, if one person does three important roles for the production of a film, I'm always skeptical about how good the movie will be. I was going to give this film a low rating until I watched the end of the film. So for me, I'm not going to rate this movie because I have a feeling this movie was more than just a film. It was about someone's life and someone thought it needed to be told. Plus the film is a testimony about someone. Now it can never be taken away. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing.